A Peruvian farmer won a small but significant legal victory on Monday when a German court said his appeal against energy giant RWE, which he accuses of contributing to climate change that is threatening his Andean home, had merit. After hearing oral arguments from both sides, the higher regional court in the western city of Ham said Saul Luciano Leiria's demand for damages from RWE was admissible, paving the way for the case to proceed. Luciano argues that RWE, as one of the world's top emitters of climate altering carbon dioxide, must share in the cost of protecting his hometown whereas from a swollen glacier lake at risk of overflowing from melting snow and ice. The appeal court's decision not to throw out the case immediately, as a lower court had done in the first instance last December, was hailed as a win by climate change activists. The court in Ham has written legal history, said Klaus Milke, chairman of the pressure group German that is advising Luciano. A group of tourists walk on a tour called Route of Climate Change in Huiraz, Peru. The tropical glaciers of South America are dying from sudden rising temperatures, threatening water supplies to communities that have depended on them for centuries. Photograph Martin Mehirap is good news for the many potential plaintiffs worldwide who will be emboldened to take action themselves, he told AFP. The Ham Court said it would give both sides until 30 November to provide further arguments before deciding on the next steps, but that it was likely the case would proceed to hearing evidence. After the decision, RWE reiterated its view that the complaint was not acceptable and was even unjustified, arguing that a single company cannot be held liable for specific consequences of climate change. A lower court in the German city of Essen, where RWE is based, initially found that the lawsuit against RWE was unfounded. Luciano, who is also a mountain guide, was all smiles as he left the court building. German media have likened his fight against RWE to a David vs. Goliath battle. I would like to return home to the mountains and tell the people that I was able to do something for them, the father of two told reporters ahead of Monday's hearing. Luciano wants RWE to pay €17,000 to help pay for flood defenses for his community in Peru's northern Ancash region. The 37-year-old also wants the German company to reimburse him for the €6,384 he himself has spent on protective measures. Luciano bases his claims on a 2013 climate study which found that RWE was responsible for 0.5% of global emissions since the beginning of industrialization. He says this makes the firm at least partly responsible for his plight. RWE, Germany's second-largest electricity producer, has long insisted the Peruvian's case has no legal basis. RWE has in the past said it did not understand why it has been singled out for legal action, stressing the efforts the company had made to become more environmentally friendly, as well as modernizing its coal-fired power plants to reduce CO2 emissions. RWE has invested billions in renewable energy as part of Germany's move away from fossil fuels, it says. Luciano's lawyer Rhoda Verian said earlier on Monday that she believes her client has a winnable case that could set a precedent for so-called climate justice cases. The case comes as climate change is once again in the global spotlight with the UN climate talks taking place in Bonn, a two-hour drive away from the Ham Courthouse. Thousands of diplomats from around the world have gathered there to negotiate the rulebook for the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement, which goes into effect in 2020. The pact calls for capping global warming at well under 2 C 3.6 F above pre-industrial levels, and 1.5 C if possible.